Edgeworks Nebula. So, okay, Molly, I have to do this one thing, and I'm, I'm sorry that you're not expecting this, but we have a listener, and her name is Cadence, and she is a huge fan of our show, and so I just wanted to give Cadence a shout out and say thank you so much for listening. We love that you love the show. We love that you love the songs. And yeah, we just wanted to say hi and thank you so much for listening to our podcast. And Cadence, I Love Your Name, is a, is a very musical name. It is a musical name. Yeah. So that's it. That's what I wanted to do. Thank you, Cadence. Oh, yeah. If you want to get in touch with us on social media, just look us up. Instagram and TikTok at scientific.melody. And if you aren't on social media, hey, not all of us are. Feel free to text or call our hot hotline with your burning questions or comments at 760-523-0808 or molly and max at the scientificmelody.com hi molly hey max molly i have a lovely crazy bunch of gogan oh sorry diddly diddly there they are standing, standing in a row, in a row. Big oh, ones. Oh, small ones. Small Some ones. Big as your head. Some uh, as big as your head. Potter. <laughs> Potter. And you went good, from right? Scar right over into... Yeah. They're pretty What's similar. Um, yeah. Okay. So I have a really cool topic for you today. And I think that you actually might guess this one. I know that I will guess this one. So go ahead. Fun fact for guessing number, number one. one. There are over 500 of these still active today. Volcanoes. What the f***? It's the scientific melody. It's the scientific melody. Dee-dee-dee scientific melody with Molly and Max. <laughs> you said still active. What else is still active aside from, like, your gut and, like... Biome. <laughs> okay, uh, I mean, yeah, we're talking about volcanoes. So, fun fact for guessing number two is that today's topic created more than 80% of the Earth's surface. And my fun fact for guessing number three is that in 1997, there were two films about this topic that came out within two months of each other. Bonus points, Molly, Joe if you can name the films. Is it Joe and the Volcano? No, that was an 80s movie, not a 1997 Oh, 19, film. Say, say, okay, hit film. In 1997, two films about this topic came out within two months of each other. Okay, is the word volcano in either of the titles? No. Um, well, now I think one actually might have been called Volcano. <laughs> I think you're, I think it is. I okay, one actually, one actually was called Volcano. What was the other one called? The other one was called Rumble Down Under. Nope. The other one is called Lava. Get ready. <laughs> that is objectively a better title, but it is also not correct. <laughs> I'm going to do one more guess. It had Pierce Brosnan. Oh. A young, <gasps> svelte, gorgeous Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> Ooh, Mrs. Doubtfire goes James Bond to... era Pierce Brosnan. Oh, was it 007? No, we're talking about what the about. is called Dante's Peak. Moving Dante's on. Peak. Yeah, 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 yeah. So a volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust, like a pizza crust. Ooh, I love it. When rock beneath the Earth's surface gets really, really hot, it becomes molten and liquid. While it's still below the surface, it's called magma. When it ero when magma erupts from a volcano, it becomes lava. lava. Now, the hotter and thinner lava is, the farther it will go. <laughs> I'm not making this up. <laughs> Uh, so lava can be very, very hot and sometimes as hot as 1,000 degrees Celsius, which is 1,832 degrees Fahrenheit. Eventually, though, lava on the surface will stop flowing and will cool down and then harden into rocks. So a volcano has magma within it and it's hot liquid rock that's liquid and hot and it's magma and then the volcano erupts and lava comes out so the magma wow. turns into lava okay. and then eventually the lava will slow down and cool off and it turns into rock wow so molly volcanoes can be active 
which means they're still erupting. They can be dormant, which means they That's haven't me. erupted in a long time. <laughs> That's or me. they can be extinct, which means <gasps> they do not long they no longer have the capability to erupt. Wow. So, okay, but they still are around, they're just not erupting. They're basically mountains now. Wow. Yeah, wow. so they're not technically I mean they are technically still volcanoes, but they're extinct volcanoes, so they're just kind of the the old Bag of bones, what that skeleton used to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. So an active volcano is one that has recently erupted or is currently erupting. And let wow. me just be the one to say, if you can see a volcano erupt, you're Move. too close. You need to <laughs> go away. Yeah. So a dormant volcano is a volcano that hasn't erupted for a long time, but still has the potential to erupt. Interesting. So if you live near a dormant volcano, just, mm -hmm. you know, be aware that aware. it's there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then if you see it erupt, again, you're too close. You need to go. So you know last... What? Yeah. I wonder if you live in a place that has an active volcano or like one that could be active, right? Yeah. Um, when that erupts. Now, do they know ahead of time? Here's my question where it's stemming from. When I lived in the Midwest, the natural disaster was a tornado. You would get a watch and a warning or a warning and a watch. I always forget what order those go in. When you live out in California like you and I, when there's a fire, we don't get a warning. It's, we just say, uh-oh, there's a fire happening right now. We didn't know it was going to happen. It's happening instantly. Same with earthquakes. So a volcano, do we know when it's about ready to erupt or is it just surprise? So there's normally signs that point towards a volcano will probably erupt soon so that's called like activity and so scientists activity. can measure a volcano's activity and they can kind of gauge I don't know okay. I don't know if it's an exact science I don't know if they're like on Thursday due to the people of the town on Thursday <laughs> our volcano town. will be erupting <laughs> If you can see it erupting, you're too close. You sound I don't know like Laszlo like that. from uh, What We Do in the Shadows. Oh, that's like the nicest compliment. I love Matthew Berry so much, and he's so funny on that show. So okay, funny. so an Laszlo. extinct, the last kind of volcano, like I mentioned, is an extinct volcano, and this is one that scientists think will never erupt again. So these volcanoes are not really a threat of erupting ever again. So sometimes volcanoes explode and shoot yeah. lava everywhere. Sometimes, though, volcanoes are constantly oozing out a little bit of lava. Isn't that crazy? Oh, That's kind of spooky scary. Spooky so scary. this is generally when the lava is really, really thin. So if it's, a, if it's a volcano that has really thin lava, sometimes that lava will just kind of constantly ooze out a little bit. It's kind of gross to think of, about. I'm I thinking don't, of I don't like, want to know, actually, because that's oh, a yep, disgusting thing. You probably analogy. shouldn't want to know. Nope, you don't want to know. <laughs> there's some, there's a, there is a joke there about thinking you need to toot and then realizing in the moment, that's not a toot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, that uh, wasn't dormant. <laughs> yeah, that's active. I thought it was a stink. <laughs> Don't I know it? So the hole in a volcano is called the vent of a volcano. So if wow. there's thick lava, sometimes the lava can plug the vent of the volcano wow. and it causes pressure to build up over and over a long period of time. And then when the pressure is high enough, the volcano Watch out. goes boom! Watch out. Explodes. And that's the real dangerous volcano explosions yeah. is when it's really, really big. So that's when huge amounts of lava come out, ash spews from the top of the volcano, and the those you can see those eruptions from space because they're huge huge so do you know do you remember learning about pompeii in school yeah that's a band yeah i mean actually it is but that's not what i was referring to i'm referring to the city the of pompeii city of pompeii and they lived next to a giant volcano called Mount Vesuvius, and this yes. volcano erupted. And unfortunately, it did cover the city of Pompeii with ash and lava. And it, it's been being excavated for like decades because it's such a, uh, it's so well preserved. I don't know, to be honest with you, but I'm gonna guess quite a few. <laughs> I'm a, uh, hands, but the hands. volcano erupted, hands? the volcano eruption was so big and it all happened so fast that much of the city was like beautifully preserved by the hardened lava. And so now scientists and archeologists can actually excavate the old city to find out like how they lived and how things were designed and all that stuff. So we usually think of volcanoes as being tall as mountains and in the shape of a cone. However, yeah. mm -hmm. there are four different types of volcanoes. Are you Stop. ready, Molly? I'm ready. Okay, the first type of volcano is called it's called a cone volcano. It's called a cinder cone. 
Stop. You are so good today. Thank oh my you. gosh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So these are volcanoes formed from particles and blobs of lava that were ejected from a single vent at the top. They generally don't get taller than around a thousand feet. So these wow. are like little, little couple cinder of my grandmas. cone guys. Couple, a couple Dorothy's. Yep. Couple Dorothy's. You got yourself a cinder cone volcano. There you go. Volcano type number two is called. That is called a concave. Oh, you are. You don't realize how close you are with that guess. It's wrong, but they're called a composite volcano. Wow. Yeah, so a composite volcano are generally shaped like a cone, but are formed from layers of layers of lava on top of each other over years and years and years. And these can grow up into big mountains that are up to around 8,000 feet tall from their base. So these wow. are a lot wow. bigger. So many more Dorothys. So many more So Dorothys. many more. That is Third a lot of my Third type of volcano grandma. is called... Third type of volcano is called the descended volcano. Like not descended even close. No. Volcano. They're called a shield volcano. Shield. <laughs> so these, a shield volcano forms from wide, thin layers of lava that eventually are shaped like a big shield. Wow, that's Pretty cute. Cool. I like that. I want to see that. And the last shape, shape. name of a is volcano. The uh, it is the letter size paper volcano. No. What is it? Welcome to the Lava Dome. Stop. They're called Lava Dome. No, they're not. I'm already yeah, they're called hearing lava the sound domes. clip race is going to put in there. I know, it's going to be so killer. Uh, so Lava Dome volcanoes are formed by thick lava that hardens right around the vent. And they can sometimes form inside of other volcanoes. That's crazy because you could have multiple volcanoes. You could would you only be seeing one, but inside you're like so many. Yeah. That's so like volcanoes. When you think you got one zip, but then you pop it and it's like magically there were two. In so there. the pressure was building up and that hot magma needed to get out. Get out. Gross. So that's volcanoes. Volcanoes can be in the shape of a cone If they're active, you better leave them alone There's a vent in the top of the mountain or hill Where magma boils up and sometimes lava spills What's magma, you ask? I'll tell you alright It's the hot, hot liquid bubbling up inside And when it blows, the volcano erupts And the magma becomes lava Wait, what? What is the lava? Oh, the lava, you ask? It's the hot, molten, semi-liquid rock and ash That grew so hot inside the volcano It had to break out and erupt. Actually, it's not all bad because they created 80% of Earth's surface. So even though they can be kind of scary, volcanoes are super cool and necessary. Volcanoes can be in the shape of a cone. If they're active, you better leave them alone. There's a vent in the top of the mountain or hill where magma boils up and sometimes lava spill. An active volcano recently erupted and still could Erupting a dormant volcano erupted long ago could erupt again one day. An extinct volcano likely won't ever erupt again. Those are the three states of a volcano. The song's coming to an end. Volcanoes can be in the shape of a cone if they're active. You better leave them alone. There's a vent in the top of the mountain or hill where magma boils up and sometimes lava spills. Nebula.